the rods in first. Boom. Then we got the deckle bag, of course. Get in there, buddy. Woo! Deckle. Camera bag. It slides. <laughs> Let's do this. We are the back at the lake today, guys. We have some of the best weather that we've had in a very, very, very long time. So this is awesome. I'm super stoked for this. Got a slight wind, but all around temperature wise, it's great. So we're back out here. We're gonna be doing some float tube fishing today out of the float tube. So hopefully we'll be able to get in the bass soon. We'll be throwing some bigger soft plastics, uh, lots of soft plastics today, trying out some new baits, trying out some bruco worms, uh, trying out some new brush hogs, all that kind of stuff. So we are gonna go down this way, there's an island right down there that we're heading to, and I'm super stoked. Let's get to fishing. Gonna get this thing packed full of soft plastics. We got a bunch of robos there. Big old pack of zooms. Bunch of packages of zooms. Big soft plastics right there, guys. And of course, the brucos. Time to put the waders on. We are on the water, as y'all can tell. Oh, bumping over a tree right there. And I am fishing a big bruco right now. Currently, I'm doing a weightless Texas rig. So I'm actually going super, super slow on my tube right now. I'm trying to get out of this tree that's being mean to me. I'm right there. But I'm actually in like a, almost like a tribute, not a tributary, but there's an island right in front of me. And I'm in this very, very small little zone that's between the lake and the island. So I'm gonna see if I can get my line over that tree right there. Awesome. And uh, just talking to a guy, he said he's normally caught some good amount of bass here, but so far it has been pretty dang slow, guys. And like I said, these trees are just not letting me go anywhere. They keep pushing me um, back and forth. And yeah, there's a lot of, lot of trees here, but I'm about to get clear of them all. Boom, I believe I'm cleared of all the trees. So like I said, I'm fishing a big bruco. I'm fishing a weightless Texas rig, so super, super natural fall but also with that super slow fishing and super super finesse fishing. So we're gonna see what we can do. You know, obviously I'm not gonna give up. Um, I might switch over to some other baits here pretty soon if I'm not getting any bites. But right now me and my dad are just trying to divide and conquer and figure out what's working. We've had some insane weather up here recently and right now has been the first time where it's been like actually decent fishing weather. It's not 600 degrees and it's not super cold. It's actually like, <laughs> this is nice to be out here today. So, uh, Obviously, as you guys can see, what I'm throwing in is just these tons and tons of little trees. This structure here is insane, and I'm uh, that's why I went weightless. So that way, it's just one less thing for it to get caught up on, and that's just what I've been told works really, really well for these brucos. So I'm gonna keep casting, keep fishing it. And like I said, if I'm not getting any bites here, I might switch to switch to another bait and then switch back to him later for the afternoon bite. But yeah, that's how it's going. I have come to an analysis. So I think today, because um, everything's just calming down a little bit from all the crazy weather, I think the bass are going to be a little bit more, um, what should we call it today? Sluggish, you know, lethargic sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to keep my um, keep my idea of a weightless Texas rig going, but I'm going to go to something that has a little bit more action. It can be seen from it further away. So I'm fishing this really, really dense tree cover, as you can see right there. Like these things are freaking all over this these trees. They're insane. They're everywhere. And it is making it for actually quite a bit of snacks, but who cares about that? Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is when you're fishing this dense cover, honestly, it's harder for a bass to see a smaller bait because they have to look through so many things like trying to find a needle and hay scat. So I'm gonna throw a bigger color um, I'm gonna throw a smoke red flake lizard right here. Made by Zoom. 
So this is what I think I'm going to switch to. And see how it goes. I've had good luck on lizards here at this lake. And like I said, this has just got a ton of curly tail action. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then later today, I'm almost likely to switch back to that big bruco because those things work, guys. I'm telling you, I've watched so many people catch catch fish on them. Today is just a just kind of a rough day of fishing. It's been after a bunch of cold fronts and all other kind of stuff. So the bass are just they're being weird. Guys, so the fishing has been absolutely really, really slow this morning, but there are schools of monster shad and carp beneath us right now under our tube. So I'm gonna drop the GoPro down there and I'm gonna see if we can get some video of these things. These shad are huge, like they're at least a pound to two pounds. They are the biggest shad I've ever seen. And there's tons of them. They're just sitting in these trees, running around, zooming around. So I'm gonna drop the GoPro down, see if we can get some video of them. <laughs> Okay guys, that was super awesome. Seeing those shad and those carp from up here was super cool. I don't know what it looks like on the camera. Hopefully you got some good shots because that was those are some monster shad. But with that, it is time to get back to bass fishing. I'm adding a weight now and then I'm gonna stick with my lizards. Trying to catch them on a lizard. And if this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna throw a finesse worm. And then um, probably a Senko if it still just is not producing like Texas Rig Senko. But we are now going to try to tie this hook on. This hook is a Guggen Squad hammer hook. Super freaking durable, super sharp. Got it in my mystery tackle box. You know, they came in the size of a, this is a four aught, and then there's also a three aught that came, but I lost the three aught to a stump, so that was kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna start heading back to the truck. Very slowly, but surely. I'm gonna go try a spot that we fished all last winter and had much much better luck at like i said fishing right now is just slow it has been really slow we've had some crazy weather recently so that might be why and so the bass are just not kind of coming out of it but that does not mean that they're still not catchable so we still got all day out here so we are still going to try to catch a bass but seeing those shad and those carp was pretty dang special as it is as a whole so this trip's already a successful trip in my book there we go now i'm finally getting this thing to tie cinch it down ow don't stab me hook oh yes perfect knot okay let's get to fishing Hey guys, we're back off the water. We're heading to go get lunch right now. Morning went off without a hit with only like two bites that we, you know, at least felt like bites, but tree didn't pounders. stick them. Yeah, three pounders, guys. That was pretty much it this morning. But 
We're gonna go grab lunch real quick and then we're gonna set back out at a different boat ramp uh, for the afternoon bite today. And that boat ramp is where we filmed um, the last float tube video. So we'll see how it goes. But regardless, this video is already super cool because that, that, uh, that action with all those giant shad and those carp is awesome. So we'll keep doing it. We'll keep seeing what we can do. Let's do lunch it. Lunch has so far been successful. Cheers, guys. I'm back in familiar territory. This is the boat ramp that we have fished the most out of the mall. This is one that we've caught the most bass at and we are back to it. So I'm excited to get to it. I'm excited to launch the float tubes again. Uh, we're gonna be out here till just basically just before dark. So we're gonna finish the day at this boat ramp and be throwing some of the things we've been throwing all day, hopefully to get something. Okay guys, we got some semi bad news. Dad's tube sprung a leak. So we're gonna make the drive back home then. Fix it up. Call it a day. We had fun today. Just messing around in the two. Yeah. It's a want want moment, but who cares? We'll be back out soon. Hopefully next weekend we'll be going to a lake that we really, really like with our boat if it's out of the shop. So cross your fingers. Yeah. Hope for luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, happy fishing, y'all.